It's your boy, Dan Diddy. Ambitious Ice. Bam Bam Boomerang. And we are here with the top 10 lists of K-pop music videos slash songs of 2022. Uh, anybody care about honorable mentions? Are you I have too many. Or you want to wait? I have, I have a lot too. Yeah, I got too many. I, I only got two. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll wait. So, first off, I guess I'll go first, man. Number 10 on my list is Weekly Vampira. Great record, man. I absolutely love this song. Uh, I had it higher, but I brought it down just because uh, the music video level, like I was just averaging out songs and music videos, and I enjoy the song much more than the music video. The intensity of the song is great. Shout out to Weekly, man. That's it? Yeah, so people want me to get straight to it. So. Oh, oh man. man. Hey, you know. <laughs> All right, at number 10, I got Just Breathe by Jin Jin and Rocky of Astro. Um, I love that video just because of the sheer joy it brought me. And, you know, anytime a guy can hold a, a beverage and do the splits and rise up again, it's crazy to me. But, uh... I love the song too, just because of like how it kind of just speaks to you, try to just, you know, just breathe. Everything's going to be all right, even though we're yeah. in this type of situation, everything like that. But that's been a dope record for me. I'm going back to a lot. So shout out. Nice. All right. So for my number 10, I have, um, and I'm not sure if y'all correct me if I, if I can use this one, but uh, Red Velvet, Wild Side. If we want to. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go, man. All right. Um, I had to put that on the list. Um, I just like the energy of the song, man. They came with something that was really hype. I enjoyed it, so I had to put it on the list. Facts. So, number nine on my list, man. I got Chiquita by Rocket Punch. Mm. This record is fire. This was higher up uh, on my list, but I brought it down when I was shuffling things around. That um, that guitar alone should get you on a list. But, yeah, that that is fire. It's my favorite Rocket Punch comeback. That was dope. Shout out. Number nine. I got Do It Like This by P1 Armor. Mm. Hey, man, there was a lot of videos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, needless to say, I love this record. I love the video just because of the super fun choreo I'll probably never be able to do in my lifetime. But, you, you know. You can't do it like that. I don't, I don't think I can, you know. <laughs> you know. But I can attempt, but probably not to the same measure. Yeah. But uh, just a really, really dope record. I uh, love how, you know, it's been getting a lot of recognition. They made an English version and everything like that. Wow. So, and they're coming to Atlanta, too, by the way. Nice. Yeah, so shout out to them, man. Okay, man. Yeah, that dance makes my elbows hurt for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for my number nine, I have uh, Jay Park with, um, say it right, Granada. Ganadada? Uh, Ganadada. I think that's what it was. Um, I, I can't remember. Because you I said could. I rolled my R last time. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I definitely can't roll R's. But uh, but yeah, featuring... I think it is Ganadada. Ganadada. But uh, man, I had to put it on the list, man. I, I had to make sure it was on my list, man. It was hilarious, man. I mean, we checked it out. You guys seen our reactions. We couldn't stop laughing, uh, especially we all kind of knew coming in that I, he was not going to show up on that video. <laughs> Um, and then the fact that they kind of played off that type of energy, uh, it was amazing. I laughed all the way through, so shout out. Number eight on my list, man. Uh, by the way, a lot of these songs also I put in order based on pretty much how much I listen to the songs. You know, uh, there was okay. a lot of good stuff this quarter, and some of the stuff is really close. Just want to oh, put yeah. that out there. So number eight, Stray Kids, Maniac. Dope music video, great record. You know what I'm saying? I, I love all the dance practices and performance stuff I've seen, Studio Choom. All of that stuff has been great. And as y'all know, Straight Kids has been murdering for like three years now. Plus. Straight. Yeah. Shout out. And number eight, I got Treasure. Chick Jin. You know? Ooh, do, do, do. <laughs> um, phenomenal performance by them with this video. Um, they just keep pushing the envelope every time they come out with something and you know we're big fans of them so i had to put them on my list personally just because of the sheer brilliance of their artistry man so shout out to treasure 
Um, so for my number eight, I have um, We In, Make Me Happy. All right, shut up. Uh, you know, I'm a nature guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I really enjoyed the, the aesthetics of that. And she kind of told a story uh, with the picture frame and how things was growing. Um, I like the message of it as well. To me, it kind of felt like um, kind of growing with love or with feelings. So over time, every time she kept repeating it, it started to grow more and more until she kind of got out of this world. So uh, shout out, dope record. Yeah, number seven, right? Mm -hmm. Seven on my list, man. Uh, these three, six, seven, and eight could be interchanged depending on what day of the week it is. For real talk. Number seven, I get Jig Jin by Treasure. This joint is ridiculous, crazy choreography, a uh, super addictive song to listen to. Uh, my daughter be singing it in the car. It's dope. She do the drop and everything too? I don't know about the drop, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, yeah, man. dope. And number seven, I have Yolen laying low. There's enough said about that video. I mean, she killed it. She just been, you know, showing off, man. So shout out to Yolen. Yes. Shout out. Uh, so for my number seven, I have um, XG with Tippy Toes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all wasn't feeling it. I, I didn't say I wasn't feeling it. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. There we go. That job was fire. <laughs> well, uh, in my notes, I have new group wear. <laughs> uh, they did their thing in this in this uh, this song. The attitude was amazing. It was there. The music video matched that energy all the way through. I kind of wanted to send that beat to boarding school. It was so mean. But uh, but shout out, man. Dope record, dope project. And I'm, I can't wait to see some new work from them in the future. What happens when you send that beat to boarding school? I will assume it gets more manners, uh, a little <laughs> bit more nicer. Says no, sir. Yes, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shout out. Okay, so number six on my list. Uh, you know, this song is played so much in this house. P1 Harmony, do it like this. This song is ridiculous. Uh, my daughter pretty much knows the song if she knew Korean. She knows all of the key points and everything. Facts. Nice. I tried to send a video yesterday. I heard us dancing in the living room to it in Discord, but it was too big. The file was too big. And oh. I didn't feel like putting it on my computer to chop it down. Gotcha. So shout out to P1 Harmony. Dope record. Nice. At six? Yeah. Number six, I got Straight Kids. Maniac. Ooh. Such a phenomenal video. Um, every time, you know, I feel like every release, they're always trying to push the envelope of being creative with their music videos. And this one was no stranger to that. And, you know, other than that being a catchy song, it's just really, really fire uh, choreo. And I love it. Shout out. Nice. Um, so for my number six, I have tre uh, Treasure, um, Jig Jin. Um, in my notes, I have... The song snaps like angry pencils. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I think I like how the beat kind of built up. It went up, it went up, and then it got stuck. Um, I like how the video matched that energy as well. It was really chill. Then it got really hyped towards the end. The lights started, you know, more flashing lights. And I thought it was cool. Shout out. Number five on my list. It's not really a music video, but I was putting it on a list no matter what. And that is Got on the Beat. Yeah, I knew this was going up there. Step back, crazy joint right here, amazing performance, man. All the girls killed it, and uh, checking out the video again, yeah, they they nailed it. And SM needs to get on putting a full project out immediately. Nice. Well, my top five is about to be comprised of the top five videos I found the most creative Ooh. and the most visually stunning. And no better to start that with, with Wanho, Eye on You. Wow. Um, every time I go back and watch this magnificent uh, video, I'm just amazed that, you know, of course, you know, he kills the choreo and everything like that. But I just love the style of that video so much and how <clears throat> I mentioned how it's just a typo typography and how he was just walking in in the woods with the wolves and it's just so much to look at and i just really love the style of that video so i'm holding to what i said at the beginning of the year i was like this is gonna be in my top 10 and it's there so shout out to wano dang well i, I take your wano and i match you with hyolin laying low uh i think that video was super dope um 
Don't try that home though. Those moves were forbidden moves. Some of those moves <laughs> that she did. I like how she kind of like changed her uh, pitch when it came to the song. I thought she sounded so amazing on that song. I thought she really killed it. Um, the video to me felt like an order of um, legs um, with extra thighs. Um, that's how I <laughs> described it. Um, but yeah, she did her thing. She killed it, man. Shout out. Okay. So at number four, man, I got Alexa tattoo. Um, I what? love this. Yeah, shout out. Dope. I love this music video. And the funny thing is, this music video isn't even all of that spectacular. She's kind of just walking around Los Angeles, but it's still dope. I love the tutting and everything that she has involved in this joint, and I love the song more than anything. This song is incredible. Yeah, it's a dope song. And Alexa is doing her thing over there in that competition that she's in. So shout out to Alexa. And number four, this video came out of nowhere and just smacked us. And I had to make sure that it was on this quarter. And it was because I thought it released first week of April, but it was released the 31st. And that's Jackson Wayne. Blow. Like, good God, the sheer amazing cinematography and choreo of that video is just immaculate. He killed the performance. All of everybody that was a part of that whole uh production post pre-production everything the whole aspect of everything in that video was just magnificent and he killed it on coachella too had that same vibe same effect kind of scared because he had jumped off the stage and like did like a little roll and i was just like oh he good oh he took his shirt off and everything he was wild at coachella y'all. <laughs> okay. but yeah man shout out to jackson way dope 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 project uh so for my number four my number four i have a straight kids venom all Man, right. I just really, really love this song. I think um, I think the risk that they took, it's not necessarily a risk, but I feel like it was a bold beat, and it kind of grew on me more and more. Just that like kind of crawling up your back type of beat that they have. Um, and then like the music videos, typical straight kids, dope transitions and whatnot. Um, so definitely had to put it on my list, man. I'm just a fan, so shout out. I'm just a fan. So, number three? Yeah. Hold on. Did I mess something up? Yeah, I kind of did, but whatever. Uh, Dang, man. Yeah, I, I, mm. I went with 11, my bad, because uh, Weekly wasn't even supposed to be on my list. Um, That was number so you six, started? That was 11. Yeah, I messed up. Everything is down Dang. one. But it is what it is. I guess I'll just go back to back then, because I, I, I've messed it up. But um, so technically, oh gosh. my number four is actually supposed to be Red Velvet. And the last one I said was supposed to be number five. So Red Velvet, Fill My Rhythm, Mm. amazing music video. Uh, It is like art in one of its purest forms right there. They absolutely crushed that. Number three is actually Jackson Wang, uh, Blow. Uh, I thought that video was incredible. Um, Some of those spots can be just put up as art pieces. And uh, it's dope. I'm not really as much of a fan of the record on its own. When I Mm. listen to the song without the music video, don't hit the same. But the video is just so spectacular. I, there was no way I couldn't add that to my list. So Nice. And number three, I got to tell you, I envy you. Ooh. I love the video um, just because of how, I don't know, man. It's just the, the, the shots and the compositions of all the uh, the. Uh, certain angles they were getting and I love the uh in particular the shot where she has the bow and arrow and everything like that. But oh, yeah, that cool. the choreo hits so well and I just feel like it's just a really well done video. So shout out. Dope project. Um so for my number three I have a Pentagon feeling like we good? Are you? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's go. Say, let's go. Are you? All right, so um, to me, this song goes straight to my hips, man. It's just one of those kind of like boogie down t- type of vibes. Um, I love it. I like the vibe of it. When I was going back, I kind of wanted to put it lower, but it just kept staying in the same place for me. Really like the vibe of it. I like how they executed the music video as well. I think they had like a nice, more of a sophisticated scene uh, within that video as well. Um, so I had to put it on number three. Yeah. Okay, so number two on my list, man, is Devil from Max Chamin. That joint is crazy. It's ridiculous. The vocal work on that joint is stupid. Like, oh, he is yeah. 
Absolutely tearing that thing apart, man. And uh, that song just gives you the feels, whether you're watching the video or just listening to the songs. So shout out to Max. He, he murdered that. At number two, I have Red Velvet Feel My Rhythm. Um, certainly alluding to what Dane was uh, talking about, just how it's just literal art. Uh, I had watched the video that was breaking down each scene and what art in history that it actually referenced to. And they were pretty spot on for the most part when it comes to reenacting those. And just knowing that and, you know, the record behind it and everything, just how much work they put into that, it's just crazy. So Red Velvet really came out the gates with that one and just, you know, crazy. So shout out. Yeah, shout out. Uh, so for my number two, I have uh, Tae Young, I Envy You. Um, I, I really enjoyed the track. Um, those those type of dramatic, powerful. I felt like the beat, the song was really powerful. And she did a good job as far as like kind of making that impact. And I liked some of the uh, well, I liked the scenes as well. I thought they also matched the tone of the song. So very dope project. Okay, so number one on my list, it wasn't even a debate in my head. It was automatic, man. And that is Taeyeon I N V U. Mm. Amazing record, amazing music video. To me, the most beautiful video I've seen so far this year, and wasn't even close. And I, 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 the song is just incredible. Taeyeon murdered that record, and if you haven't seen her dingo joint, uh, she killed it when she sang it live there. So shout out to Taeyeon, she's a beast. <clears throat> well, my number one pick was never an issue. It was number one when I first saw it, and that's Max Chingman, Devil. Mm. I believe it's probably going to be one of my favorite music videos of the year completely just because of the song and the video. The song, just like I was reading the comments, and somebody um, put a uh put it perfectly it seems like a old southern type of gospel hymn feeling to it and it just got that soul that just really captures you but then when you look at the visuals and just how they just nail the the tone of the video from the how they wanted to capture the choreo to his emotions mm -hmm. and everything that he was saying in the video i feel like it's just a really really well done masterpiece and it took me for a loop because just like you know i'm already a fan of him but seeing that just took his whole for me just took his whole artistry to another level where i was just like yeah yeah so shout out to max man he delivered an unforgettable unforgettable record and yeah, that's that's really gonna stand out for this time this year. That's that falls in my honorable mentions. Um, I don't know how that slipped through the cracks. So sorry, that was on my list too. But mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. before my number one, I have a uh, Jackson Wayne blow. Y'all should already know I'm a big fan. Somehow y'all always ends up at the top of my list, even when it's not the quarter. Um, but this one, uh. <laughs> Took me away. It felt like a Broadway play to me. He didn't have backup dancers. He had backup actors because that's what it felt like to me. Performance was amazing. I love how they incorporated the blow in almost every scene. So creative. Um, I enjoyed the song. I thought the song kind of grabbed me. It did. Um, they had a really nice uh, um, concept behind it as well. Felt like they were like lifeless at first. And then when they got the addiction or got the smoke back, it's like they came to life. I really like the imagery that he did with that one and the scenes and everything. So a big fan of what he does. So had to put him at number one. Nice. Dope. So I, I, I throw a couple honorable mentions out there, man. I just want to say Solar Honey is is dope and incredible. I feel like that's one of them records that got slept on this quarter. And NCT, Dream, Glitch Mode. But – uh. After hearing the album and hearing Teddy Bear, it's just like that should have been a single, y'all. That I think that would have did it for y'all. But song called Teddy Glitch Bear. Mode is dope. Yeah. <laughs> Glitch Mode is dope though. And um shout out to Yolan with Laying Low. She did her thing with that. And that's and I guess I said it on accident, but weekly, Van Pure, right? I mean, to me that's their best comeback so far. But, you know, the cutting of the the, the video kinda cut me up a little bit when I watched it back. I was just like, Yeah, yeah, kinda Sloppy. Well, I had a list of honorable mentions, but I'm going to pick out a couple. Uh, Jay Park and IU definitely, just because of the creative aspect of the music video. It was just so entertaining, but at the same time, genius to like tell a story in that format 
of trying what to do if somebody is in to make a video shoot. Oh. It's like one of the most cleverest thing to do, especially, you know, just with the personality of Jay Park and everything that they brought to the table it was perfect. Um Banya Guk, Banya Guk of BAP dropped a track called Up. And the song hits, but the video is just like ridiculous. Like mm. I can't really say the context of what he's rapping about, but it's adult rated. But he has like ballerinas dancing around him, and I don't know. It, it's yeah, a, you got my one stop. Yeah, right I, <laughs> okay. but you got to watch the video on the song. It's just fire. Um, Kingdom Ascension was up there. Omar mentions got the beat. Step back, of course. Um, Yena and BB with Smiley. I still love mm, that video. That dope. video was just really, really, really dope. Um, and uh, yeah, those are a few I want to talk about. Um, yeah, some some that Ace mentioned. Um, and then I have Rocket Punch on there with Chiquita. Chiquita I can never say it. Chiquita. The bananas. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Juan Ho. Really want to put him on the list, man. Um, it was mm. a brilliant performance mm. that he did. Um, that was a good one. Uh, and, and hyphen, um, I guess blessed mm-hmm. was something I was thinking about putting up there. Kepler and Kingdom. Um, that that music video that we saw was really good, yeah. and I kind of wish they get a little bit more um, recognition. But Kingdom is a dope group. Not out. Yeah. So, man, in the comments down below, leave your list for the quarter. Curious to see what uh, that's gonna encompass. And yeah, let us know what you guys thought about our list. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Peace.